Jake. Oop. Jake Baquette from Arkansas. Okay. If they pick a Z receiver, it's going to be Aaron Dobson out of Marshall. The New England Patriots select Aaron Dobson, wide receiver, Marshall. Jimmy Garoppolo. Oh, wow! <laughs> what does that mean, Maz? Is that good or is that bad? Oh, I heard rumors about him. What kind of rumors? That he was, uh, he, was in, he was on their radar. With the 67th pick in the 2014 NFL Draft, your New England and my New England Patriots select Jimmy Garoppolo. Trey Flowers out of Arkansas. Number 101 overall, the New England Patriots select Trey Flowers. God! Cyrus Jones from Alabama. Oh, Nick Saban connection. It's projected as a fourth-round pick. With the 60th selection, the New England Patriots select Cyrus Jones. Jacoby Brissett. Oh, God. North Carolina State projects as a fourth-round pick. If, he's, if his name is Jacoby, he's soft. That guy has no shot. The New England Patriots <laughs> here at number 91, <laughs> Jacoby Brissett, the quarterback. Isaiah Wynn from Georgia. With the 23rd. The New England Patriots select Isaiah Wynn, tackle, Georgia. Uh, Hakeel Harry? <laughs> oh, uh, Nikhil Harry. Nikhil? The New England Patriots select Nikhil Harry, wide receiver, Arizona State. Joe Juwan. J-O-E-J-U-A-N. Joe Juwan Williams from Vanderbilt. I think it's Jawan. <laughs> it looks like it's Joe Juwan. The champs select Juwan Williams, DB, Vanderbilt. And it's back. The Felger and Maz Big Board is back. There's a synopsis. This is our 10th year doing this. I just went back and looked at it. Paquette was drafted in 2012. And so this, is, uh, this constitutes our draft analysis, folks. If you don't know why we do this, it's... Frankly, we find draft analysis so ridiculous. You get on and you hear these guys with their pad level and, you know, uh, vertical jumps and just the nonsense of the, the, the endless diarrhea of a, a pre-draft analysis that means nothing, constitutes nothing, and ends up being nothing. It's just diarrhea to fill a month before the draft. It's got high hips. Is all it ends up being. So what we do is uh, we go to the bookstore, we buy a couple of draft magazines, and these guys chuck markers at the draft magazine, which I hold up on a piece of cardboard, so that's the sound that you're hearing. And whoever they hit in the magazine, we put on the Felger and Maz big board, and that's our prediction for who the Patriots are going to take. Now, as you've heard, we've had many correct selections. In the nine years we've done it, done it, we've given you one player in seven of those nine years. And in some cases, multiple players. Again, as you heard right there, including stars like Jimmy Garoppolo and Flowers and, you know, big prominent picks. Now, these we don't guarantee that they, that they can play because a lot of them end up sucking. But neither can Bill. <laughs> Correct. <laughs> we, this is just predictive of who they're going to take. So there's the setup. I've got the, the first draft magazine that's set open to the first. We're going to start with guards. We'll pick three guards. Murray is standing across the studio right now. Uh, this is brought to you by the Peterson School. The big board is brought to you by the Peterson School. Summer classes are enrolling now and uh, filling fast. Sign up at petersonschool.com today. Ma uh, Maz has stuffed markers in Peterson School footballs. Murray's going to chuck it at the magazine. Who he hits will be the first selection on the Felger and Maz big board in 2021. Murray, throw it well, please. God, <laughs> dang it. So often they're he not even close. Oh, my God. That was for Brian Hoyer. Let's yeah. go, go. Oh, bottom right. Wow, he missed bad. And it okay, so closest to is what it is. Aaron Banks, Notre Dame is going to be the first one on the board, okay? Aaron Banks, Notre Dame. I got to flip the draft magazine, and you got to get close for Pete's sake. And we'll go back and read the scouting report in a second. Hold on, stand by. Murray missed high. Okay, Murray. Uh, Maz, do better than that. Go ahead. Okay, here we go. What do you got? Quick release. Oh. All right, Maz has the better better wow. arm there. That was yeah, okay. At the middle, top middle of the left page. I see it. Trey Smith, Tennessee, will be the other one. And now, just to keep it fair, I'm going to switch draft magazines. I've got the Athlon draft guide and the uh, Lindy's draft guide. That's, those are pretty common draft magazines that we do every year. Wait till you hear the write-ups on these guys. It's freaking ridiculous. <laughs> okay, second page on. I believe this is the Athlons. Murray, go ahead. Don't throw it like such a chick. Quick release, Murray. There we go. That was good. Hit right between the bottom two on the right. Okay, I got it. You hit it. someone in the face, so that's going to be the guy. Okay, that's going to be Ben Cleveland from Georgia. So let's go in order and 
see what we got here. He likes the Georgia lineman. Bill does. Okay, here's the first one. Guards. We're starting with guards. Aaron Banks, 6'5", 330 out of Notre Dame. He is projected in the second to third round, Maz. Strengths. Banks is a monster, sporting a naturally large frame with tree trunks for thighs. His girth makes it difficult for defenders to find any gap to squeeze through. Oh, yeah. No, you guys are trying to squeeze through his legs? Oh, yeah. <laughs> I was going to say usually girth. Uh, girth, girth can well, well, yeah, so why, why don't you try and go around him, not try and squeeze through his legs? Banks compliments his size with impressive initial quickness and a mauling mentality. Well, we like the maulers. Banks attacks with a strong initial punch to get to top grades for his grip and leg drive. And gets top grades for his grip and leg drive, routinely knocking back defensive tackles. He's got girth and a good grip. Okay. Yeah, we're going to take him in thickness and in health. <laughs> Weakness. <laughs> Weakness. Like most blockers his size, Banks lacks elite change of direction. And uh, he's... And can so, he's... Go left. No. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You can only run one direction with him. Okay, so that I'll just I think they had a typo here because it doesn't make sense what it says after that. Like like most blockers his size, Banks lacks elite change of direction. Okay. Put him on the board. These are guards, right? Guards. That's a big guard. Okay. Six five, three, yeah, thirty. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's huge. Okay. He's bigger than Isaiah Wynn. So is this guy. Next guy. Trey Smith, Tennessee. Trey Smith, Tennessee, six five, three thirty. Oh. Same size. Yeah. Is he got girth too? Strengths. It'd be like the Chippendale fan. Smith has experience playing both guard and tackle and could feasibly line up at either spot as a professional. He's versatile. He's a physically strong player with great length and power for the position. He's got length. And his guys. ability to create openings as a run blocker helped direct the Tennessee running attack. What was Tennessee last year, like 2-9? and nine? Yeah, I don't think they were very good. Weren't they all. horrible? No, yeah. but they didn't run much. But when they did, they were good. <laughs> uh, despite his size, he is a very smooth mover who can combo block effectively and transition without major hangups. Oh, they like that, though. They, they were three like, and seven. They like the athletic guys yeah. who can combo block. He's a finisher who wants to bear, bury defenders, and his effort from snap to snap stands out. Mm. That's like a good scouting report. Finisher with length, good from snap to snap. Weaknesses. You're such a child. Smith's height does give him leverage issues that will be tough to overcome at guard. He's too tall. 6'5", yeah, too yeah. big. Leverage issues. Big tree fall hard. Yeah, yeah people can get under him. <laughs> uh, but he is sufficiently strong to play through leverage problems. So which is it? Uh, stand by, stand by. Uh, his technique could use some cleaning up in terms of hand placement and accuracy. <laughs> there are also concerns regarding his agility if a team's decide to use him as a tackle. Feels like a late-round pick to me, versatile guy. He's projected in the third round. Okay, put, good. Put him on the board. They could use an offensive lineman because uh, what's-his-name is not going to last. He'll be on a year and wins a guard. Here comes Ben Cleveland out of Georgia. 6'6", yeah. 340. Oh, my God. We picked some big guards. <laughs> Another big kid from Georgia. Okay. Well, and again, Newton can't get over the line of scrimmage to begin with. Exactly. Now you put these trees in front of him. He's Forget about up. it. These guys are going to get concussions. Strong points. This is according to the Athlon Sports Guide. One of the biggest prospects in this draft... Cleveland used massive size and strength to hold his own in the SEC. He's at his best in the phone booth, <laughs> which don't exist anymore, where he can win at the point of attack and generate push as a run blocker. He's a good athlete for his size and can land blocks when climbing to the second level. Mm. His sheer mass gives him an edge as a pass protector, as he's a mountain for defenders to maneuver around. Okay, that makes sense. 6'6", 340 well, Those guard. are big guards. Jeez. Although a couple of them can play tackle, so that's a good sign. Weak points. There are movement limitations for Cleveland. Oh, shocker. Yeah, right? <laughs> <laughs> Who does a nice job when climbing to the second level in a straight line, but doesn't redirect laterally no. well at all. That's <laughs> the problem. Yeah, just like the other guy. <laughs> you get a couple of mailboxes for guards. The further he has to range, the more he struggles, both in terms of the foot speed needed to get to his spot and his pad level and power when he gets there. Quickness figures to be an issue in pass protection. Projected in the fifth and sixth round. Put him on the board. Oh, there you go. That's Bill's kind of guy. Okay, those are your first uh, positions on the Felger and Maz big board. Three guards for your perusal. Yeah. Again, Aaron Banks, Notre Dame, Trey Smith, Tennessee, and Ben Cleveland, Georgia. All from legit programs. All feel like legit size to play at the NFL level. We'll go to uh, tackles coming up at 4.30 and then finish up with centers at the end of the day. Right here comes an update from Murray. 90 seconds, no commercials. And back to your calls from everything from the weekend here on a reentry Monday. From the Town Fair Tire Studios, Boston's home for sports is WB.
KBZ-FM and HD Boston. 98.5, the sports hub. The Beasley Media Group Station.